one word to describe this victory from your team, what would it be? Well, just a gutsy road road victory. You know, we get in 2 o'clock, uh, Mando's first start. Um, you know, penalty kill did a real nice job, a lot of guys. Um, you know, at the first period, I think we built ourselves some confidence. We were skating, making plays. What can you uh, say about the performance of your rookie goaltender? Well, um, made all the saves you had to make. I mean, what can you ask for more than that? <laughs> Uh, you, you know, you work your whole life to get an opportunity, and this was his. And uh, he made good on it. Players seem to embrace that, though, too, don't they? Well, for sure. Every single one of these guys played their first game and realized how, you know, how exciting it is and what the nerves are like. And now when you go in net, there's nowhere to hide. It's not four or five shifts and get out of there. It's, it's you got to bunk down and go. You, you called it an organizational decision earlier today. Like, could you maybe just walk us through going to, to Mandalay? Well... <laughs> It, it, to be 100% trans, transparent, um, you know, Sogi on back-to-backs as a young guy has had uh, some injury issues, um, you know, it, with he's training and, and, and what have you. And, and going into this, we knew that, um, you know, back-to-backs is something we don't want to put him in a situation where he can get hurt. Um, and and he, he isn't 100% on these back-to-backs. So, uh, you know, day off between game, he's good. It's not an ideal situation, but he's a young guy, and we have to protect him. And, and as an organization, that's the decision that, uh, we made. And obviously Mando, uh, you know, helped us out. What did you know about Kevin coming into today? <clears throat> well, he's a confident kid um, that, uh, you know, he's been up and down a bunch of times. Um, you know, he's in the East Coast League at some point this year, but um, he's got enough confidence to get in there, and that's that's the biggest thing is is he wasn't afraid of the moment. You guys, uh, obviously, it's two wins in a row. I think six six of your last seven. Do you think you guys are beginning to learn what you have to what they have to do in order to be successful, or is it too small of a sample size? Well, I mean, we're trying every night. Um, you know, we we've been like we've talked about it. we've decimated with with some serious injuries, but we got a bunch of young guys and. and, and I mean, let's not look too much further than our top guys and our leadership group, uh, you know, the, the, the whole of them um, that have got the team playing hard and right every night. Um, you know, Timmy, uh, Drake, Brady, the Brinkat, Shabbat, Kachuk, those guys, they, they, they got the crew going every night. And, uh, you know, the leadership, um, you know, refuses to stop working. Coach, coming into tonight, you said special teams might be the difference here. You get the power play goal and a strong penalty kill. Fair to say that that uh, follow what you're looking for? Yeah, for sure. Uh, we don't want to take that many penalties, and I don't know if we did take that many penalties. I don't know. But, um, you know, our penalty kill did their job, and our power play scored that big goal. Um, you know, they had a real good push at the end, but they're a good team. I mean, they, 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 they you know, Horvat seriously is, is a big difference for that. Um, you know, so... Um, just all around, I just thought we were a pretty confident group tonight. You uh, haven't had too many shootouts this year. How did how did you pick those? Uh, the Brinkat, uh, Timmy, and then Drake. Well, uh, Davis Payne does all the uh, the the numbers behind it, and and guys that fit with certain goalies and what have you. Um, you know, and uh, and those are the three that he had in that order. Timmy was obviously exhausted from overtime, um, in in the penalty kill. Um, you know, and obviously uh, those guys found ways to score. Well, describe the feeling here. First of all, congratulations on that. But describe the, the feeling that you're going through. Uh, it's it's hard to put in words <laughs> after the the year uh, I I had. Um, I think it's so ha- so happy for it, that it happened like that. It's kind of you don't really have to think too much. You just go in and uh, especially with the number of shots, I just had to play and can, didn't have time to to think about it. So. Uh, no, it's it's unreal. Uh, I'm I'm pretty speechless right now. Can you walk us through when you found out to when you put on the gear and stepped onto the ice for that solo lap? Uh, I found out at like in the plane probably like 12:30, um, and yeah, the, the, this entire day I was just wanting to enjoy every moment. Uh, not a lot of people has that chance, and uh, I just wanted to enjoy the, the game and. Uh, I just had fun today. It was it was fun to get the win and uh, help the the team uh, start the the month off on a, on a good foot. Was it was it DJ or Zach who told you that you were starting? Uh, Zach. Zach. Yeah. So what goes through your mind when you, you get the tap on the plane that uh, hey you're in tomorrow? Uh, probably every emotion uh, possible, uh, from <laughs> nervousness to excitement to joy to everything. Um, but it's uh, I've never thought. Uh, since I'm a kid and started playing hockey that I'd be in the NHL. It just kind of started 
playing hockey for fun and uh, to, to have my first game, it's, it was unreal and I, I'm pretty happy right now. I mean, and then not only to play your first game, but to get, you know, 45 plus saves and a shootout, um, I mean, it's like you, you experience everything. So yeah, uh, I mean, it's, there's going to be games like that and no matter how many shots, I just want to be there for the team and give uh, the team a chance to win. Did you happen to get any family here? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm fortunate to live in Montreal, so it wasn't too too far of a drive, and uh, they dropped everything to, to come and, and see me, and uh, I can appreciate them more, and they've been there for me uh, since day one. So, uh, yeah, it was uh, fun to have them here. I know it's not been a super long time, but have you checked your phone? How many calls yeah. and texts have you gotten? Uh, no, I haven't uh, opened my phone yet, so I'll do that uh, later on, uh, probably in the plane when I get a minute to... to to take a little breath. <laughs> I, saw you, I saw your teammate grab the puck. Did you hand it to your teammate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Timmy uh, got me the puck. Uh, it was pretty nice of him. Lots, yeah. Yeah. Lots of people say that the butterflies go away when the first event that happens in the game, whether it's a hit, whether it's a uh, you know a shot at, uh, that you have to stop or something like that. Was that the case for you? Once the action started, you didn't have to think about it anymore? Uh, pretty much, yeah. Uh, I think it's always like that. And you kind of just realize it's just another hockey game. I think, like, yes, it's in uh, the NHL and all that, but at the end of the day, it's the same puck, it's the same size net, it's, and nothing changes. So, yeah, I, whenever I, I figured that out, it was just so much fun. And, and, and for you, like, after you play one game, now do you feel like, okay, I can play at this level? Like, I, I guess when you've never played in the NHL, you're not sure how it's going to mm -hmm. go. Now do you walk away from this and understand that, you know what, I can... I can play at this level. Yeah, of course. Uh, I think I've always believed in myself. I know uh, I'm, a, I'm young and uh, there's a whole process to go through before being full-time. And uh, I think for me, it's just consistency. I know I have uh, all the tools uh, to, to be successful. Uh, I think it's just kind of put it, putting it together day in, day out. And uh, yeah. Does it help you that this is a young group, so you guys are all kind of growing, going through the same thing at the same time? Uh, yeah, I think um, Mads, uh, Mads has been really good for me. Kind of, he, He's played games before and uh, kind of just walking me through because unfortunately it's it's sad to see uh, Cam and, and Forzy out like that. I never wish our first game comes uh, in, a, in that way, but um, and not having one of them to kind of be there and, um, to, you know, with all their experience, but Mads has uh, been really helpful since... Uh, we turned pro together, uh, even in the American League. So uh, it's it's been uh, it's been a crazy day, and he's been uh, by my side since I turned pro. So it was nice to live it with him too. And how satisfying was it to go down the ice and scoop out that puck from the Islander net to give to Kevin? Uh, yeah, it was pretty pretty long way. I was pretty gassed. So uh, <laughs> no, um, I mean he really deserved that one tonight. Um, he played a hell of a game. Um, yeah, I I think without him we we wouldn't have. Uh, got that win tonight, and I think he played. Yeah, played first, and it's always great to to get a first win in the NHL. How would you describe your team's play here through this full 65 plus? I think a little bit too much up and down. Um, they we knew on the back to back they're gonna have long shifts in our zone, and, and I think we stuck with it. We give them a little too many chances we would have liked them to give them, but in the end I think we scored two one and then uh, gave it back to them. So. I think it was a pretty even game. I think we, we dominated the first period, and then they, they kind of, yeah, uh, were a little bit faster than us. But um, in the end, as soon as we started playing fast again, I think we, we dominated the game. Tim, Tim, we weren't sure how your goaltending was going to hold up in these two games. And you basically throw in your AHL goalies, and they look great. What does that say about the two of them, that they're able to step in and, and, and really play well for you here, back-to-back -back nights? Oh, I mean, they're there for a reason. Uh, I mean, they, they, they are still really young, and... Um, I like Mendel said, I heard him saying it's a it's a whole long process and I think with a goalie it sometimes maybe takes a little bit longer as a player and those two guys they just stuck with it and um, worked hard every day and I just can say from what I've seen from them and practice. I mean Mandel I don't I don't even know how many minutes he stayed out there with me to, to work on my shot and, and try to make me better too. So uh, it's been just awesome to see him uh, get that win tonight in his first game and uh, I think all the guys are really happy for him. This team kind of grew together because it's so young. Everybody's coming up about the same time. And the way it's been playing lately, do you feel that you're just the same guy, the same guys you were down in the minors, except that you're taking on the entire NHL and matching them on even terms now? I mean, uh, 
I think as a as a group, uh, you gotta understand that uh, maybe we are, we are still really really young, but in the end, we work hard every night. And sometimes it's good if you're young. You can you can just run and try to get pucks behind them and uh, hopefully play a fast game. And I think um, in the NHL, I think every team can beat anybody uh, on any given night. So uh, I mean, we just try to stay with. We have we have a lot of really really good players and um, are still really young. But I think we yeah we want to get as many wins as we can. Your, uh, your shootout attempt, you you went pretty slow to start. Was that you just kind of trying to figure it out, or did you know kind of what you were going to do? I was gassed. No, <laughs> uh, I mean, no, I, I talked to Painter, and, um, yeah, he kind of told me uh, what he was thinking, and, uh, yeah, I I think, uh, yeah, he, he gave me a pretty good look there, and, um, yeah, I just, um, yeah, I've, I've done it a couple times, and I just tried to kind of wait him out a little bit. I mean, he's a, he's a great goalie, and um, he made some really good stops tonight. Brady, coach used the word gutsy to describe your team's performance. I'm guessing you might agree. Yeah, we played a really well, um, well done uh, road game, and um, right from the start we grinded and, and uh, just stuck to our game the whole game. And, and uh, of course, you got to applaud Mando. It was uh, unbelievable performance, um, fantastic, and, and just him and Sogi. We have so much confidence in the both of them. And of course, you know, being young, probably a little nervous, but uh, no, right now we have all the confidence in them and. and Last two games, they've stood on their heads for us. I'm pretty sure, it, uh, I'm safe to say, I would think that it's a rally and cry, right, for the rest of the team when you've got a young player making his NHL debut. Just just so excited for them. It's, um, it's a dream come true for, for them, their families, and, and to see the support that you know they have. And it's just, it's unreal. It's, uh, um, I feel like that's always the kind of the trend whenever somebody's first game, it brings you back to your first game and how excited you were and how, um, you know, for us, for, for goalies, it's probably a little bit different, and, and uh, um, we just wanted to play our best in front of him and, and limit chances. But uh, um, I guess we didn't really do a great job leaving the 46 shots. But uh, no, he did a he stood on his head. But I thought in our, our team, we played uh, we played well tonight. We just stuck with it. You see, I know you said it's kind of different with goalies. <laughs> I can't remember seeing a goalie rookie lap <laughs> like that. You? I mean, just uh, it's a part of the tradition, right? So it's. Uh, just didn't think any anything of it. Was hoping it was a pretty hot lap for him, and uh, um, no, it's just probably uh, gets the nerves going a little bit. But uh, the excitement for him, it was uh, it was pretty cool to be a part of. What does this do for the group? These aren't just two wins, but these are two wins against teams like Calgary and the Islanders, who are really pushing for a playoff spot. What does it do for you guys as a group? Well, with the way they play, it's um, they, they play their best. They kind of force us to to elevate our games, and and these are situations we want to be in, and and. Uh, um, like you said, these are teams that not are, are kind of on the cusp of making playoffs. So, um, you know, they're fighting and, and uh, doing whatever it takes. So that kind of almost forces us to, to match that. And, and uh, um, I feel like ever since uh, a couple games ago, we started, you know, focusing on playing fast. And, and uh, I feel like that's changed the complexion of our team and, and uh, our tough team to maintain when, when we're playing fast. So it's two wins in a row for you guys and six out of seven. And, you know, you're kind of on the outside of the playoffs, but you're making a push. Is that something you guys are looking at, saying that it's a possibility? I think it's one day at a time for us. Um, you know, we're, it's pretty easy to get a, kind of ahead of ourselves, but you know, for us, it's focused day in, day out, just putting in the work, and, and uh, we know that there's room to make up, but we're not looking at you know the playoff picture and, and uh, um, you know, situations. We're just going there, playing fast, um, kind of doing our jobs every day and just putting ourselves in the best position moving forward. When you're you know, going in and getting rewarded, does it lead to more buy-in from the group, do you think? Well, I think with, you know, efforts like, um, you know, tonight and last night, I think it you know, speaks volumes to our group that, uh, I mean, no matter what the situation is, if we play our game, that we're just a tough team to maintain, whether it's, you know, you know, first shift of the game or the last three minutes of the game, if we, uh, um, you know, play the right way, um, kind of do what it takes, then, I mean, just the... Uh, so we're just tough to maintain, so I think uh, we're just going to keep doing it, especially these efforts. Uh, it uh, definitely gives us a lot of confidence. I know you've been asked about this a lot lately, but just Tim, the elevation of his game, and again tonight he scores coming in off the rush and then the shootout goal. It's just like he's got that electric game-breaking ability, and we're, it just seems like every night we're unpeeling a new layer for this guy. <laughs> Speechless. Um, I mean, you're just seeing the levels. That's uh, 21. See the level he's at already, and I mean, just kind of gets you excited, and should uh, the, the you know, Sense fan base should be uh, pretty thrilled with uh, what they're going to see for a bunch of years from him. 
Ready overtime last night, shootout tonight. This team stays even keeled. What does that say about the continued growth and maturity of this group? Yeah, just confident in our abilities. Where you know, um, you know Nick Holden you know, always says it best mm -hmm. that uh, we need to be comfortable in these situations and, and uh, can't panic. I feel like that's what happened in November. We panicked in those situations and weren't confident in ourselves. But um, as we get in these situations where you get more confident, get more belief, and um, yeah, I just think that uh, that's kind of been the outcomes. Is that just we're you know, not. At this point, we're not afraid to make mistakes. We're just still playing our game.